Hey you guys, so um, disclaimer, it's like a little bit before 8 a.m. right now. <laughs> so sorry if I sound a little tired or my voice is raspy, but today I'm going to be showing you Truly Me number 121. I actually got her about two to three days ago, but I've been working so much I just really haven't had time to film and I did not want to open her until I could really do an official unboxing video. So now that I'm starting work a little later today, I figured um, it would be a great time to unbox her and put her in this cute Mary Ellen Poodle skirt outfit that I've actually been having my eye on for quite a while. So uh, let's get into it. Now, I know what you're all thinking. Didn't you just say in your last unboxing of Truly Me 117 that you'd be getting the other Marie Grace molds? Okay, so I actually bought this doll in the American Girl store as opposed to 117 that I purchased online. And I got to see all of the dolls in the display case. And um, I was excited for the Truly Me release because they were using all kinds of different face molds like um, Nenea, Marie Grace, uh, Joss, uh, you know, just, they, it, it, I thought it was a great idea. But in person, I was just not feeling any of them, especially not the Marie Grace molds, which sucked. So I was like, oh, well then I might just get, you know, an outfit and just leave. But... I went to um, the other Truly Me case um, that was on the, usually like the right side of the store, and I saw 121, and oh my gosh, I just bonded with her instantly. I couldn't stop staring at her. I just cannot believe how much I liked her. She's just so beautiful and so alluring in person. I was like, oh my God, I have to take her home. Like, what the heck? So I did, and... And honestly, choosing her outfit was kind of hard because there wasn't like a, you know, a special outfit that I was like, oh my God, I must have this one like um, Molly school outfit. So I was like, you know what? I've actually been liking this outfit for Mary Ellen for a while. So why don't I just buy this for her and make her like a doll from the 50s or something since I don't have Mary Ellen or, you know, any 50s era doll. So um, I've been calling her Deborah for the past few days seeing how that fits because that was a common name in the 50s but I don't know Deborah just seems a bit too mature for her you know so I'm kind of just like kind of in between names so if you have any suggestions you know that would be great if you could comment them now one name that I do like that's like a more um, older name is the name Patsy just because when you hear that name you're gonna immediately go oh god that's an old name <laughs> And so I was like, you know what, I'm kind of, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of vibing with Patsy, but it sounds more like a nickname, you know? So yeah, so right now I'm just calling her Deborah, but it's not official. So um, all she comes with is this little uh, shirt dress that says AG Active, these little tennis shoes, and her All About S book. So I'm going to go ahead and put her in the Mary Ellen outfit and do something with this hair. Yeah, her hair is not, you know, it didn't come out of the box cute like Nancy's did. So wish me luck. <laughs> okay, I did her hair so ugly. I'm so sorry. Like her wig is just not agreeing with me. So um, I brushed out her curls so it'll be less tangled, but it seems that that didn't really work. And... I'm not even gonna talk about the back. Let's just turn her back over. Um, so the actual like little thing, I thought it was gonna be like some kind of scrunchy type bandana thing. It's just a borderline like square piece of cloth that you have to like fold and tie up yourself. So I was like, okay, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Um, and um, the I like the material of the skirt. It's very cute and it's got elastic here and the back of this is like a Velcro. And uh, the socks, you know, they're already rolled at the top. Now these tennis shoes were a little hard to get on, but um, I didn't want to untie them. So kind of had to just jam her foot in there. But um, yeah, so this is what 
she looks like with the outfit. It looks much better in person. I was a bit nervous about how I would like it in real life, but it looks really good. I really like it. And uh, this hair though, I wanted to give her like a cute like 50s hairstyle, but honestly, she doesn't have enough hair for a beehive. And I just don't have the tools to, you know, do that little curl wave thing that they did. So yeah, <laughs> I'm not, yeah, I'm not, this is, this is temporary. I'm just kind of debating on what to do. Um, I might just look up some hairstyles and see which one is the easiest I can do because her hair is short and it's not like a real full head of hair, of course. You know, it is a wig. You see these little short parts. You're like, you know, it's, you know, we're not working with much, but um, yeah, this is the best I could do as far as hair. <laughs> God damn it. God dang it. Okay. Um, okay, let's just, let's just, yeah. Okay. So honestly, when I left the store, I was very confident that, you know, Deborah would be like the, the, the last doll that I buy for right now until further notice if they release, a, you know, something new that I like. Because honestly, I did have time to walk around the store and I feel like that I am satisfied with my collection right now. And um, that there's just no new dolls that I really want and no old dolls that I really want to buy secondhand either. So as of right now, I'm pretty satisfied with my collection, but um, I am very happy with this Truly Me release and 121 is just really beautiful. Like, I don't feel like the camera really captures her essence, you know, like, oh, like in person, like she just spoke to me. Like when I saw her, I was like, oh my gosh, like I, I it's her, like I need to get her, I need to take her home. Oh my gosh, she's just so pretty. And, um, she doesn't really resemble Joss like that. I've had Joss and yeah, I don't get a Joss vibe from her. She feels like her own different doll, you know? I mean, dang, a hairstyle could do a lot. <laughs> but um, so yeah, that is all I have to show you guys for today. And I will see you in my next video. Bye everybody.